Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I am playing The Escapists, and you meet me on day three. I've done a couple of days because, quite frankly, it is a little bit dull just starting this game out while you're sort of getting established. I've got a little bit of money, not masses of it. Our fatigue is on 9%. The idea of this game is to escape from prison. We are in the easiest prison there is, and it's still not very easy to escape. Um, I have a whole load of favours here. I've got to get a pedicure kit for Jackson. I've got to get Ethan's bottle of medicine from Gil. Jackson's pillow from Ethan. James's cookie from Jackson. James's post. People seem to be picking on poor James, and Jackson seems to have taken rather a lot of stuff. Um, so, yeah. James is uh, one that seems to have lost everything, and Jackson seems to be picking on everybody else. you got to kind of curry favour with the guards, you, and you've got to plan your escape. So we are going to go in here, and we're going to grab a food tray so we can sit down and have a bit of breakfast so that we get our fatigue down to zero. At the moment, I've got a muffin, I've got a plastic fork, and I've got a cookie. And if you take a look at my profile, I've got Intellect 42, Speed 29, and Strength 36. You can build those up by going to the gym and going to the library and things like that so that they get stronger and you can do more stuff. I have a plastic knife as a weapon. I don't think it's going to do much good, though. I think a plastic knife is going to be somewhat limited. Um, you get various different jobs that you've got to do, and you've got to follow prison procedure as you go through. Um... There's not really a lot else to say about it, you just got to plan your escape. My plan at the moment, I've either got to really build up my strength and really buff up so that I can knock the guards out, and then after I've knocked the guards out, I can um, just sort of walk out the gate. I've got to get a file so that I can cut a hole through the fence. Don't think that's going to be the easiest way to do things. What's up through here? Oh, that's the, um, the cells for solitary confinement. Now, locate a pedicure kit. Uh, get Ethan from Gil, from Ethan, from Jackson, from Matthew. Um, Matthew, Jackson, Ethan, and Gil. Matthew, Jackson, Ethan, and Gil. This is my bedroom up here. That's James, Kino, Ethan. Right, so we can get one from Ethan. The guard didn't see me go in. If the guard sees you go in, you can get into a bit of trouble there. Uh, DVD. What was it we were supposed to get? Oh, maybe he's carrying it. Oh, that could present a problem. Um, from Gil, Ethan, Jackson, and Matthew, and I'm, oh, this is Ethan. What do I want to get? I want to get Jackson's pillow. Oh, that's all right. I just go here to get his, okay, okay, I'm out of the cell. I'm out of the cell. Go back in. You shouldn't be in there. They don't trust me at the moment. See, I'm, I'm suspicious. I've got some heat on me. If I can just wait for these guards to get out the way, I can go in there and I can half inch that pillow. Can I do it? Ah, there we go. Right, I've got the pillow. So now that I've got the pillow, I've got to go and find... Um, who is it? Uh, Jackson's pillow from Ethan. So I've got to go and find Jackson now. Who was that? That's Terrell. There's Jackson. If I can just go and click on Jackson, I right-click on him. There we go. He's got a shiv on him. Can I take that? No, I can't. I gift him the pillow like that and just give... Hey! I gave you the pillow back. You're supposed to give me money. Okay, <laughs> that, uh, okay that didn't work very well there. Um, we can go and find some other... Oh, right. It's lunchtime. As soon as it hits lunchtime, we need to head over to the cafeteria. James there. He, see that little icon that he's got above his head? That means that he sells stuff. So we can go and buy some things from him. We got 0% fatigue, so we don't need to worry about that. James, we'll take a look at you. And you got a bottle of sleeping pills, a crafting note, a tube of super glue, and a hammer. Now, the hammer, you'd probably use that to beat someone unconscious. We don't want to do that just yet. Crafting notes, they're really useful. You can craft all sorts of useful things to help you escape. So, we're going to take the crafting note. Um, we still have $55. The bottle of sleeping pills, you can, um, like, render the guards unconscious. I don't really know how to do that. So, let's just use the crafting note. There. Knuckle duster. Duct tape and a razor blade requires 60 intellect. Duct tape and a razor blade, that sounds, that sounds serious. That is a serious knuckle duster. That is a very, very serious knuckle duster. Um, can I get any more jobs at the moment? Can't take on any more favours just yet. And we have 0% fatigue, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's go over here and take a look. Oh no, Matthew, Matthew was unconscious. Tasty's unconscious. Maybe we can take a look. Right, he's got a sock and he's got a roll of toilet paper. And he's got a pillow. Take the pillow. 
Nobody's seen me take the pillow. Ideal. Right. Um, I don't really know what I've got. Leisure work period. We don't have a job. I did have a job in the um, in the laundry, but I'm not working there anymore. Ethan, Jackson, Matthew and Gil. I want to find the other cells. I'm not quite sure where the other cells are because I've, I've, I know where my cell is. And we, we went there and we've um, sort of shaken down. There's six here. That's mine there. So we've had a look in those. There's other cells. Ah, here we go. Right, let's take a look in this one. This is Matthew's desk. He might have something in here. There we go. James's poster. Yes, we've earned $21 there. What else has he got in here? Battery cookie. He's got another plastic spoon. We got some plastic spoons. You use plastic spoons for digging, I think. I think you do. I'm not sure, but I think you do. Tasty's desk here. I'm not quite sure if Tasty's going to have anything useful. He's got, a ma he's got a magazine and a medikit. Medikit might be useful. Let's put the pillow and the bed sheet in there and we'll take a medikit and let's just go for a magazine. Someone's getting beaten up down there. Let's not worry about that. That's, they're doing that. We can go in here and DVD, postcard, tub of talcum powder. No, there's nothing in there that I want. I'm the pinnacle of authority. Oh, that's the warden. Ooh. Let's go and speak to the warden. Let's see if we can do anything with him. Can you can you do anything? No, we can't interact with him in any way. I can, though, interact with him. He's got a bar of chocolate. I can't take it. Uh, let's give him the cookie and we'll take the bar of chocolate. Nobody's seen us do that. Brilliant. And I got one more cell that I haven't looked through. I just want to make sure there's nobody around while I go in here. There we go. Gil's desk. Gil's coming in. Right, we take Ethan's bottle of medicine and give that back. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's Isaac. I thought that was I thought that was Gil coming in. Do we want another job? I was working in the laundry, but now Ethan has got that job. Uh, mailman, metal shop. The metal shop might be useful. So might the janitor. Um... I really don't know. The mailroom file there, and this is cleaning supplies. The laundry in there where you can get a uniform if you want to, or you, you can try to get a uniform. You can go on the internet. This will increase your intellect. What is my intellect at the moment? My intellect is 41. I got 27 speed and 34 strength. I actually think I would be better off going to the gym if we hit the gym for a bit and get and buff up a little bit. Let's go on to the weights. And all you've got to do is you've got to alternate pressing... Um, Q and E. You gotta you gotta do it quite rapidly as well. So you alternate pressing those and it you see my fatigue is going up. Got 14, 19%. That will keep climbing as I do my reps. But each time I complete a rep, my strength goes up by one point. And the more buff you are, the better chance you have of winning a fight when you have a fight with someone. Exercise period. Well we're already in the gym. So we will stay here, work in the gym, and uh, when the exercise period is over, I think we've got to go to the showers after this. I'm going to just, just stay here and keep working this until I've used up all of my fatigue. Right. Now we're into the showers. We strip off. We have a shower. And the shower very quickly reduces your fatigue. It's a really useful thing to do. Uh, what have we got left? So we've only got three quests, which means that we can take some more quests. Those guys are um, getting a little bit frisky there. I've been tailing a thieving rat for days and worked out his routine. Distract the guards at next shower block for me so I can check his stash. Right. Well, I don't think it counts if we do it this one, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow to do that one. Uh, what do you got, Gil? Ethan spilled all my dirty little secrets to the warden to cut his sentence. Worth a beating, I'd say. Right, so we've got to beat up Ethan for that. And you've actually got to render him unconscious. You can't just attack him. You do actually have to beat him up properly to be able to gain it. So we're on 45%. Oh, it's because I came out of the shower that I stopped lo um, stopped dropping my fatigue. Let's stay here a little bit long. We've got the evening meal. Come on, a little bit more. That'll do. We can eat a little bit of food to reduce the last remaining bit of our fatigue. And you've got to go, you've got to go pretty quick because if you're too late, the guards will get a bit funny with you. So let's just grab a little tray of food. Go and sit down. There we go. Right. And our fatigue is now down to zero. Right, we have evening free time now. Uh, Ethan... Actually, was it Ethan that I needed to beat up? He's He's gone in here quiet. Let's just quickly have a look. Beat up Ethan, yeah. Right. To beat someone up, you've got to activate aggressive mode, which is just a space bar. And then you go up to them and you click them. And let's see how good he is compared to me. 
He's taking me out in three. I did it. Only just, but I did it. That was that was really close. He actually got me pretty good then. Um, if I click on him here, I've got Jackson's pillow, so I can get that one off of Ethan. Um, and there's another bar of chocolate. I'm not going to worry about the bar of chocolate. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, we've got James is unconscious over here. He's got a pedicure kit. Right. Uh, let's get rid of the plastic fork. We'll take the pedicure kit. We need to get someone a pedicure kit. He's about to wake up. He's got a file and a glass shard. That sounds a bit vicious. All right. Uh, well, which one do I do? I think I've got spoons in my desk, so I'm going to take the file. Oh, no. I want a trowel. A trowel. That is that is the tool for digging. That is. We'll keep hold of that. we got to make sure that we don't beat anybody up. Heard Ethan was framed. I heard James' wife got arrested. Let's just go here. So we got a plastic knife that we're carrying around as a weapon. Um, speed 26, strength 46. I think if we use the rest of our free time, we go down here and we go in on the treadmill and just um, increase our speed ever so slightly. And all you've got to do is, again, you alternate the Q, the Q and E and just keep running on the treadmill. And every time you get the little double arrow come up above your head, you've gained another point of speed. It does take a little while to sort of build up your speed and your strength. And you can sort of... You want to spend the first few days building up speed, strength, and intellect. And then you're sort of in a much better position to go and beat up the guards, beat up the other inmates, and dig your way out. I'm completely fatigued now at 100%, so it's not increasing it anymore. So I'm just going to use up my muffin. And that puts me down to 82%. And at the moment, I've got strength 45, and i now got speed 39. It's a lot faster than it was. Uh, right, evening roll call. We've got to go out here. Now, I have got a guard's uniform in my desk and if they say that they're going to shake down my cell I'm going to have to rush off to my cell before they get there um, and pick up my police uniform but they haven't done it yet my guard's uniform rather not police uniform so so far we're okay if you can divert the guard's attention next exercise period for me I can dish out some justice using this screwdriver okay we'll do that so far, oh, we got a trowel on us. We do have to be careful with the trowel, don't we? Uh, pedicure kit. Someone wanted the pedicure kit. Who was that? Jackson. Um, let's just find Jackson a minute. Uh, James, tasty. There's Jackson over there. So if you right-click on him and you go to the gift, that should now... Yes, there we go. We completed a favor for Jackson, earned $22. And if we go to Ethan, he's the merchant. And he's got a screwdriver, a baton... A crafting note. I want to buy the crafting note. And he's got some very illegal stuff here. The baton and the screwdriver. Those will really help you in a fight. Those will really help you in a fight. But do we want them right now? I think we. I don't think we will. I think we will hold on to $133. So let's come out of there. Use the crafting note. Zip line hook. Timber wire requires 60 intellect. Okay. Now the zip line hook. I'm assuming that the zip line thing lights out. I'm assuming a zip line means um, you would. Okay. Uh, yeah, a zip line. You got you got to get up high so that you can zip line over the fence. Now, what we do is I want to get the bed sheet and use the bed sheet and put that over the the bars so that the guards can't see in. Lift up my desk and I'm going to move it down and put it over here. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to put it down. There. Right. So I've put that one down. And now I want to dig. I want to dig right here. I don't know how much you can dig all in one go. That's a little bit of a dig. Oh, dig 12%. So you just got to keep going with it. We're going to use the trowel first. Um, and I've got spoons as well. I think that you can do digging with a spoon. Let's just take a look in the desk and take a plastic spoon a minute. Like that. Use a plastic spoon to dig. Yes, you can dig with a plastic spoon as well. And that, it, it seems to use it up a bit faster than it does the trowel. The trowel is obviously is going to be a better option. Um, but it's, because it's illegal, we, I guess we really want to use that one up first. So we're on dig 40. I'm going to just keep digging for a little while and see if we can tunnel our way out. It's like Shawshank Redemption. The film Shawshank Redemption. I love that film. Such an awesome film. It's a very adult film. So if you're under 18, um, I... Well, yeah, don't don't watch it unless your parents have allowed you to. It's really it really is an adult film. Oh, we can go in the hole. OK, now we've got to try and dig our way out. And I'm not I can't re really remember which way we want to go. So what we'll do. Actually, can we go in? You know what? Let's just go in. 
And keep digging. I want to dig this way. Your inventory is full. Oh, I gotta get rid of the dirt. Right. Uh Oh, I can dispose of it down the toilet, I think. Put the dirt in the toilet. Flush. <laughs> I'm flushing dirt down the toilet. That is so awesome. Right. How fast can I dig uh, a tunnel? You are too fatigued. Oh, no way. This could take forever to dig my way out of here. It's genuinely going to take ages to dig my way out of here. So let's put the, um, the desk down. That goes back down over the hole. And... I'm going to hold the trowel, and possibly the guard outfit as well. But what I'm curious about now is where I'm supposed to dig to. I could dig into the next cell, I could dig into here, but that's not going to get me very far. There's nothing in there. Maybe I could dig outside. There's, there's a fence right there. Maybe I could dig that way, but it's going to take a while. It's definitely going to take a while to dig my way out. And we are on morning roll call. Now we have to just be pay close attention to anybody who might be um, shaking down our cell. Due for a sake, shake down our Frithga. Ooh, right, run. Run, 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 run and grab that um, outfit. There, that one. And then run back again so that the guards don't see me. If I come down around here... No! Okay. We're okay at the moment. So we got a guard outfit and the trowel on us while they go and do the shakedown. They'll probably remove the sheet from the window. But other than that, we should be okay. Distraction at exercise period. Get James's cookie from Jackson. So we could get a few more um, quests. Matthew relieved me of my teddy bear. Can you get it back? Uh, breakfast time. Did we Oh, did I have to do a distraction? Wait a minute. Oh, exercise period. Right. Because you don't want to do a distraction while you've got illegal items on you or the guards will take those illegal items and they will, um, you won't get them back. You also lose money and stuff like that. So you do have to be very, very careful. Free period. Right, we had breakfast. We didn't really do a lot. Um, and now I, I guess what I could do is actually just sort of plan where I'm going to go. Because if I'm digging from here, if I dig sideways... I've got a long, long way to dig before I can get out anywhere. So, if I could dig north, maybe right, there's a scrap going on down there. Jackson got taken down by one of the guards. I could dig out here. Right, I'm there, so that would take me up through this bit and up through there. Can I get out? Surely it's not that easy. What's up here? I've, I've not actually been out this far before. We've got cabinets timber supplies there's a guard there he didn't seem too concerned that I was running around out here I guess that this is allowed um, I'd like to know what this is over here there's nothing in there you can what you can do is you if you beat up the guards there is a way to like copy a key and get a key from them we got solitary here so you can get into these areas but I don't know how you get back out again but digging takes a very long time. Now, if you notice that we had a shakedown on a cell, so the sheet was removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and steal a sheet from uh, here. Your inventory is full. Magazine. What do we do? Oh, it's lunchtime. Uh, no, I don't need to worry about that for a minute. So I can keep the illegal items on me. And we'll go and have our dinner. Sit here in the, here in the hall. Our fatigue is, is still on zero. Really, I guess, we want to be looking at our speed and our strength so that we can sort of buff up a little bit more um, and maybe it would help us dig faster. Although when you've got your... Um, when you're really buffed up, it's actually easier to take out the guards. We've got another scrap going on over here. The guards aren't intervening. I don't know why the guards aren't intervening, but they're doing some serious damage to each other down there. Oh, no, now they are. There's someone intervening. Officer Andrew has stepped in. We got Officer Ronald here. I don't know if talking to them actually increases or decreases their opinion of you. You want their opinion to increase. You need them to really like you. Leisure work period. Now, what happens if we come out here? This is the main gate. Can't go out there. Let's go back inside just in case. I don't... There was somewhere that I got hurt when I was running around. It wasn't there. I think it was out here, right? There's a prisoner stash there. Ooh! Would the prisoner stash be useful? Maybe if we could dig down to that, that might actually help. Although we've then got it. What are you doing with my desk? Where's the prisoner stuff? Right, I'm going to use this period to 
uh, buff up a bit more. I want my strength to get right up. If I get my strength right up, I've got a better chance of um, being able to win some fights. My strength is now on um, 55. So I've got a good chance of being able to win a fight if someone does decide to pick a fight. What I could really do with is some more food and stuff because if you have food with you when you're trying to do your tunneling out, you've got a better chance of... Where you can, like, you, you, um, fill your... Oh, exercise period. Oh, I'm supposed to hurt someone during the exercise period, aren't I? I'm, I need to create a distraction. So if I leave the trowel and the guard outfit here, I'll also leave the medikit up here as well. I can, um... I can beat someone up while I'm doing the exercise. And... Ooh, right, I need to create a distraction, don't I? Distraction at exercise period for Terrell, right. So all I do is I start attacking the guard. And now I get put in hospital. There we go. Three on one. It wasn't very fair, was it? But because I didn't have anything, um, any contraband on me, I am, um, I, I get to keep it. Um, as long as the contraband is somewhere other than where I am. I don't, I'm not carrying it around. Get to where you should be, Frithgar. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Right. Uh, let's, let's do some more buffing up. We'll do some more weight training. Oh, now, now it stops. I've only just got on the, I've just got on the bench press. Go on, let's do one more. There we go. And I need to go into the showers. They get very snotty with you if you've, um, if you're not where you're supposed to be at the right time. Right, they're scrapping again. It's our evening meal now, so we're going to rush off to our evening meal, get something to eat. My fatigue is already on zero percent, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm thinking about this whole digging thing. And I'm thinking that it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like the best idea. Well, we'll dig up so that we can get into where the stash is, which is just north of our cell. Uh, but after that, I don't think it's going to be the way forward. I think what we need to do is we need to buff right up. We need to buff up as much as we can. So maybe I'll have to spend a few days doing um, training whenever I've got free time, and so that I got 100. I got I'm on 100 out of 100 for strength. Then I get a baton or something like that, and I can absolutely beat the guards with it. Um, and then just walk right out the front door. I will need a file. I will need to get a file, won't I? So let's just have a look through people's cells and see if we've got any food. And I'll put the food into my desk. I've got magazines. I've got nothing in there. So this is the idea, is we want a load of food so that we can use that for tunnelling. Um, oh, there's a plastic spoon that we can use for tunnelling. Packet of mints. I don't know if the pack of mints is going to help us or not. Come down in here. Right, there's a guard over there and they do see us. Right, a muffin. That's going to help. Let's put that one in our cell. Right in here. Okay, I want the muffin and a spoon. And that spoon's on 55%. I'm guessing that the pack of mints and a muffin, they all do the same. There we go. So what do we do with the magazine? If I read the magazine, what does that do? Does it give me... I don't think it does. I don't think it does anything. The guards didn't see me. That's all right. Toothbrush, soap, TV, roll of duct tape, and a spatula. Don't we have... Yeah, we got a roll of duct tape and... Let's take that. And a razor blade. Okay, okay. Right, he didn't He didn't get my roll of duct tape. We need, we need a razor blade. I think we've already got a razor blade anyway. We've just got to make sure that the guards don't come running past us. Comb. Dirty inmate outfit piece of timber. We could use that for beating someone. Let's get out of there. Now, we do have to be careful now because we've got a lot of contraband. We've got the guard outfit. Oh, they don't think we're going to use that. The trowel. Um, oh, we do have a razor blade. So we've got the razor blade and we've got the duct tape. We can craft ourselves something now. And so we can get a knuckle duster, which will then knock out the guards. But I think, really, I need to just work on some um, strength exercises. And is there anything else that I want to do as well? Uh, cell key, comb blade. Don't think I need to worry about the rest of them. This is the other ones. We've got the knuckle duster right there. It doesn't say that I can't make it for any reason. Okay, let's do some training. Well, it's evening roll call, but I'm actually staying in the shower for just a minute because I wanted to lose some of my fatigue. All right, let's, go to, let's get to roll call quickly because I need to find out who sells. No! Oh, I better be quick. I got, all, I got, I got my trowel. My trowel. I don't mind about the guard's outfit, but it's the trowel that I'm, I'm particularly concerned. I've got timber, roll of duct tape, uh, trowel. Right. <laughs> That's my bag's completely full. 
Just make sure the guards don't see me sneaking back, and I should be okay. <laughs> that was actually really close. Uh, deluxe toilet roll. Jackson's Teddy, James's cooker. I'm not going to worry about those for the moment. Um, and if you have a look here at the merchant... Oh, that's just j jar of ink. I don't know what you do with a jar of ink. I guess maybe you could forge something to get out. And Matthew, he's got chocolate. Chocolate will be really useful tonight. We can um, do some more digging, except that I've got my... My hands are full of contraband, so I can't actually buy anything from him. Let's get back to our cell. So now what I want to do is I want to get my bed sheet. Your inventory is full. Okay, I'll put some of this stuff in the desk. I'll put the duct tape in the desk. And there. And the magazine. I'll keep the trowel and the guard outfit. And I'll keep the spoon. I've got another couple of spoons there. Come out of there. Take the sheet off. And put the sheet over the bars. But the problem is I've, uh, the, the bars are still open a bit. So it's not ideal. Not really. If I put that one down. There we go. So just move it aside a little bit. We go into our tunnel. I need to go north, don't I? That's the way that I want to go. Digging takes some time, doesn't it? 4% dig. Is this... Nice try, Frithgar. My boys found evidence of tunneling. We've linked it back to you as punishment. I'm placing you in solitary for a few days. Okay, so tunneling didn't work. We're going to have to go for our next plan. Um, how do I... I'm, I'm stuck. I literally... I'm, I'm just going to have to stay in here. Oh no, I can come out now. They filled it up! That's no good. I bet they've taken everything out of my desk as well. Yeah. All of the good stuff is gone. we still got the razor blade. Uh, but other than that, the good stuff is all gone. And the, the Officer Darren has filled, filled it up. So, we'll have to try Plan B. Now, Plan B... Oh, I've got morning roll call. We better, we better attend roll call. We're, we're in solitary at the moment. They're not going to be... Um, naughty boys will be sent to solitary, yeah. Uh, right. Jackson's still got those items. And Matthew, he's still got these items. There's nothing new there. Um, right, let's not worry about that. The tunneling thing has kind of not worked out for us. And we got caught, so we're in solitary for a little while. I don't know if that means that we're not going to be able to do our exercises. I'm thinking it will try plan B. What we do is breakfast. Yeah, we don't do breakfast. We will do breakfast at some point. Yeah, what we do with plan B is we get our strength all the way up to 100. And then we get ourselves a weapon. And we get we take the guards out one at a time. We beat them when nobody else is looking. So we like go for the free period. And when a guard is on his own, then we beat them up. And then we go and find the next one, we beat them up. And I think there's four guards altogether. There might be five. I don't think there's actually a list of guards. Um... But yeah, if we can find the guards and beat them up one at a time, we should then be able to get to the gate. Uh, the only issue that we've then got is that we've got to try and file. We got to get. We got to build a file or something. We got to. We got to find some way to get out. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Right, they're fighting. Okay, let them fight. He's got nothing for sale. Gil. Oh yeah, we've just looked at him. Right. Yeah. So, the tunneling thing didn't work very well. This game is alright, okay? I've seen other people playing this game, and I thought, well, we've we got to try it. We've got to see what it's like. Um, and it's okay, but quite frankly, it's not the most exciting game I've played. Um, I'm sure there is a way to get out of here, uh, but I don't think I'll be doing it in this episode. I probably won't come back to this game, I've got to be honest. I like it, but I don't like it enough that it's really sort of grabbed me. You, you, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, if there are any games that you would like me to try and play, then please head into the comment section down below and let us know which one they are. And if you see one that someone else has suggested that you really like the look of, then please, by all means, um, let people know. Uh, right, my strength is on 61. I'm going to go and I'm going to find something big and heavy. And I'm just going to try attacking the guards to see if I can get my way out. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's try and find a file. If we can find a file, we might be able to just cut our way out. There's duct tape there. Ooh, I know what we do. We take the duct tape. We go out there. Uh, my desk. And I get a razor blade there. Now, how do I how do I craft something? Not sure how you craft things. Uh, tool. No. There, that one. I don't know how to craft. 
Do I need do I need my desk maybe? Do I gotta have do I have to do it at my desk? If I uh do I do it now? Go to journal. Comb blade. Oh yes, you can. So you've got to be at your desk to do it. There. Well, I've got them. Oh, maybe I've got to put them in. I've got to put them into my desk. So let's try putting them into the desk. There. Now. Uh, okay. Right. Let's try that. And now is it going to let me do it? Duct tape and razor blade. Maybe I've got to. Right. No, that's just in the weapon. I really don't know how to do it. I've no idea. Genuinely got no idea. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I'd like to be able to do this. Duct tape. Razor blade. And if you just click them, they, they just move around. So you can't really do it like that. Um, profile. It doesn't work. I could put the razor blade. I can't do anything with it. Okay, so I don't actually know how to do crafting. There's, there's got to be a way to do the crafting, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, right click, left click, it doesn't seem to work. Right, okay, so I don't know how to make a weapon. Um, the idea was I was going to beat up some of the guards while they were on their own. It's lunchtime at the moment. I'm going to see if I can beat that guy up. Like this. I just press spacebar and all I do is I run along after him and I start beating him up. I'm He's doing me a lot of damage compared to what I'm doing to him, so he's probably going to hospitalise me. Yeah. But that was actually pretty close. I feel that that attack was pretty close. So if I did buff myself up to 100, I could probably take them down, especially if I managed to find a weapon. And then I think what you can do, I'm just going to run over here. I'm going to ignore the meal time, and I'm going to run right outside if I can. Work, period. Yeah, you come over to the fence, and you get a file or something like that, and you can um, get your way out. Um, like you go out the fence. But you do have to have a file. I think it takes two files to be able to cut a hole through the fence. But you've got to beat all the guards up first. Because if they see you going through the fence, you get you get into a lot of trouble. Um, right, no files in there. This isn't gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to escape from prison today. And this is the lowest security prison there is. Uh, paper clips, no. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Tomorrow, I am going to be playing Silver. Now, this is a game that I played nearly 20 years ago now. Ooh, Timber. Right, I am going to just try and take out one of these guards. Give myself a weapon. There. Well... How does Timber not work as a weapon? I think I've got to craft a weapon with it. So, again, it's not going to work. And I've got two guards coming on me now, so that's not going to work either. And I'm unconscious. Yeah. Um, yeah, Silver is a game that I played nearly 20 years ago now, and I have just found it. So I'm going to give that one a go tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, this week is a little bit different for me. It's been a long time since I played a game um, on my YouTube channel that doesn't require a steering wheel. And I don't know what you guys think of it. This one, like I said, I think is a little bit slow, but if you'd like to see me actually try to escape from prison, then please let us know, and I will come back and visit another time, and we'll see if we can actually get out of here. It could be quite interesting to do, although I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to do it, because the game is quite sort of open-ended, and it does allow you to do a lot of stuff. Um, I still think that my original plan of maximum speed and strength, maybe I should go speed as well, uh, might be the best way forward and just keep working out and training until I get to 100 of each and then when I've done that then I can take out the guards once I get a decent weapon. Just very quickly, um, I know that this is after the episode, I was just finishing up a couple of other things and waiting so that I could save my progress. Um, I figured out how to do the crafting for those of you who've been screaming at the screen saying this is how you craft you'd click on crafting just down there that's it so I could have put the razor blade and the um, the duct tape all together onto that screen there and that is how you do your crafting anyway until next time thank you very much for watching this is Rithgar goodbye and see you later